and this is the assistant athletic director of the National Anthem. Hello and welcome to Alumni Stadium for a non-league matchup here today at Braintree High School as the Wamps get set to take on the Brockton Boxers. Mike Wasserman in the coverage here on BCAM TV as Braintree on the outside looking in as the playoff tournament just missed featuring the Wamps who were right around the top 16 but got left Thank out. You to my Brentry finishing the, the year with a victory over Newton North. Game here today against Brockton and of course the annual football game against Milton as Brentry will receive the football here to begin the game. As the boxers on the road, kicking off in the road white uniforms. Based on the last couple of days, certainly much warmer than it has been as we are ready to begin. And now the kickoff as this one sent down and Branchu will field it inside the 20 yard line brought out to the 25 30 and a nice return as Branchu bringing it out to the 35 and really have seen a lot of Pina who's returned quite a few kicks now the last few games got very good speed and he's made a couple of really 
highlight type plays with the football. As the man goes in motion, as Garrity gets the football on the pass from Stones, and Branchu with a nice play on their opening play of the game, and a seven yard pick up. Seven, maybe eight yards. Falling forward, maybe closer to nine yards after all is said and done, and Branchu going right into a hard up offense. So Stones under center, as he has been all season long. Seen Farragher mixed in a little bit as the season has moved on, and this one is very nicely stopped at the line of scrimmage on the catch by Carson Stones. Brantry moving the football around from the near side to the far side on back-to-back -back plays. Two completions, but that time not going anywhere. Actually lost a yard. We'll see if Curry gets his first carry here on third down. He moved, he moved. As the man goes up the middle, and it's Curry as he blasts forward and a first down. Curry, close to the first down. Curry so tough to stop as he moves forward for four he yards and, and a first down. First, down. first, down. first, 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 first down, down in this game. Ten and a half to go here in the open floor. Line. Looked like there was some movement first prior down. to the snap. But they did not blow a whistle. Three receiver set now for the Wumps. And back to throw again. Stones will cross the middle and the pass behind the intended target as Canavan has that one glance off his hands. So Canavan was open over the middle of the field. The ball was thrown behind him. Got a hand on it. Just pulled it in. Of course, you always worry about putting your receiver in a tough spot like that when you throw it behind him as the handoff goes up the middle and Curry again with another positive play and gets about six yards on the carry bring up a third and manage six. so the Brockton defense on the field actually trying to get their second first down here on the drive four for the first down A lot of movement here by the defense as Braintree will fake it and now Stones will throw and complete it for a first down. A nice little design play as Bresciani, the junior, able to haul that one in for another first down. That one kind of came out of nowhere for Stones who looked like Brockton had sniffed that play out in the backfield but able to think on his feet and make an accurate throw for the first down. Low snap this time as Stones continues to fire the football around this time up and over the head of Bresciani along the sidelines. So with 9.18 to go here in the first quarter, still scoreless but Braintree on the move here on a second down and 10. Swing pass, and this time complete a Garrity in, in motion here as he gets close to seven yards on the reception catch and run. So Garrity's featured a couple times here early on this first drive. Braintree bringing up a third down. Assume this is four down territory this far on to the Brockton side now. It's going up the middle, and Curry's got a first down and more as he trudges down to the 25. So Curry again, averaging somewhere in the ballpark of five yards a carry here early. And he has had some big time runs this season, leading Braintree in touchdowns. And he'll get the football again, this time stopped right around the line of scrimmage. Very quick pace to the early start of this game. As the defense was able to take him down, that was number 50, Ruben Bernard, who made the stop. Defensive line men for the boxers. It's Brantry back into the hurry up. And Stones will roll to his right throw. Wide open, Parsons Gomes makes one man miss and heads down towards the sideline, gets knocked out of bounds. And gets about eight yards on the play. Caleb Parsons Jones making the reception. 
So Branchy with a little dink and dunk down the field. Five, six, seven yards at a time. Moving the ball methodically down the field. Looking for the first score of the game. Here with 7.40 to go. Clock continues to move. As Garrity goes in motion. Four receivers set now. Curry remaining in the backfield. As Braintree will throw. Another completion. And trying to make a man miss. And he falls forward for the first down. Nice play by Canavan. So Braintree has been elusive. A couple of times. It looked like they were going to be stopped right after the catch. But able to shake past the tackle. And Braintree has moved the chains again. Another first down. Now Curry. Curry up the middle. And he's got three yards on the carry. Curry up the middle. Good for three yards. He's second down. And a long seven. So see if Braintree can end this drive with a touchdown. Try to pick up where they left off. And the victory against Newton North where they completely dominated the second half against the Tigers. And again, the handoff. Curry gets the stiff arm. Curry towards the end zone. Touchdown. As Curry adds another touchdown to his total here on the season. And that was rather easy for Curry, who threw the stiff arm with the right hand, opened up some space, and easily found his way to the end zone. As Branchy will send out the field goal unit to try and kick it through. So Curry starts off Branchy's offense on the right foot. Here with a 6-0 lead with 6.33 to go. A long drive ends in a touchdown. And everybody featured on that first drive. Stone threw the ball well. A lot of different receivers involved on that first drive. Bresciani alongside Parsons, Gomes, Garrity, and Canavan. All four receivers involved. And the extra point on the way. And the kick is up and good. So a 7-0 start Brentry here for the home team. And Brentry could not have asked for a better start here at home against Brockton. A perennial powerhouse in Division I football. It's having a tougher year this season. Obviously not making the postseason. So the touchdown from Curry puts Braintree on the scoreboard. A 7-0 lead as they will kick it away with 6.33 to go here in the opening quarter. Stones again, who kicks off, also punts. We'll send this one away where it will be fielded inside the 20-yard line, brought back. And a nice return as they get a block on the outside. And back close to midfield is where the Brockton offense will start. An excellent return from Wooten. A fine return by Brockton. So the Brockton offense will take over. That ball ball spotted just shy of midfield. midfield. First down on the 45 yard line of the Boston. So the quarterback getting ready for his first snap. Quick pass and off the hands That's of the intended point. target, Wooten. So an incomplete pass. On the first pass of the game. For the Brockton side. Obviously, Braintree passed the ball that whole first drive, pretty much. Or at least the majority of the drive. They did have, obviously, the rushing touchdown for the score. But they really spread the ball around. And this will be a handoff. And a big hole is found as Brockton finds their way down the far side of the field on the run by Rodriguez, who was... Really much untouched on his way down the far side of the field. So both offenses moving the football quickly down the field and a couple of big-time plays for the Brockton side. Special teams setting them up around midfield and one play later, already inside the Braintree 30.
This will be another handoff, and Rodriguez this time hit right at the line of scrimmage, falls forward for a yard. Well defended that time by Braintree, Michael, as by Braintree. Baptiste able to take him down. Number 25, Alpine Baptiste. So we've seen Rodriguez touch the ball a couple times, running it. See if the quarterback will fire this time. Brentry almost jumping offside as Rodriguez again gets the football and gets close to four yards on the carry. So Campbell continuing to run the offense. And now it brings up a third down, third down. with four and a half to go here in the first quarter. Ready to throw as this one is completed but hit immediately as Garrity takes him down and that one caught by Wooten but Braintree's defense was right there on the spot. So to bring up a fourth down for the Brockton offense. And the offense will remain on the field. This would be a long field goal. Not many high school kickers can send it in from this far away. Along the 21 yard line. So the clock continues to move. And a fourth down upcoming. Campbell giving the instruction to his receivers. The ball is fumbled, and he's going to be hit at the line of scrimmage, and that will be a turnover on downs. So whatever the play call was there, the snap and the quarterback with the center were not on the same page, and the football was on the ground, and Braintree was able to stop him on the fourth down play. So they will get the ball back on their own side of the field with the lead, 7-0. So Brockton, who had a nice drive going, a couple of mistakes, a ball that glanced off a receiver's hand on the opening play, and then obviously the ball that was fumbled. Brentry didn't recover the fumble, but it didn't matter because the ball was stopped on the fourth down play. So Stones will run again. This offense as that ball is hit in the air. Stones trying to make the catch, and probably was not the smartest thing for Stones to try to do there. You just bat that ball down, and now instead he takes a big-time hit, which... Obviously, it was the last thing you want to see. Brockton got their hands right on that football, knocked the ball in the air, and Stones, being the competitor he wanted to be, went right back after it, which obviously is just common instinct for a player to do, but in that situation, it's hard, but you just want to bat that ball down. You don't want to try and catch it. as we have an injury on the field. And Farragher trotting out into the huddle as the backup quarterback. And hopefully everything's okay for Stones, who's so important on this team. I'm not gonna speculate on what it could have been, but I mean, he could have easily gotten the wind knocked out of him the way he was hit. Feel bad there for Stones, who Certainly laying it all out there on the field. Took a big time hit. 318 to go. As this will be Farragher on the handoff, and Curry will take it up the middle as he gets about half the yardage back. And now it'll bring up a third down and five. So Stone's receiving a little bit of medical attention on the sideline from the Braintree trainer, Kara Hines. As Farragher again will hand off, Curry will take it to the far side, and he is stopped short 
of the line to gain. So Braintree's in a very tough spot now. Curry has been tough to stop. And it's a dangerous spot on the field to go for it here on fourth down. But I guess with, at this point, not saying it in a bad way, but really nothing to lose here. It's not a playoff game. It's just another regular game. Braintree at least going to try and draw them off sides, which they've done quite a few times here this season. Braintree would need at least a couple yards here, so this would be a long couple of yards if they were to snap it. And Braintree will punt the football away, so they were trying to draw them off sides. It really didn't get much bite from the opponent. So Braintree, instead of taking the penalty for a delay game, obviously deciding to call a timeout. With 2.08 to go here in the first quarter. So the Brantry offense who moved the ball right down the field the first drive was stopped this time. And we'll have to punt the ball away. As the snap up over the head of the punter and Braintree giving themselves up and now a real devastating situation as in emergency mode that was Calvin Tran who had to punt the football with Stone still on the sideline, their normal punter, and that went bad quickly. So Braintree not only did they give the football away, but they give the football away on their own side of the field inside the 20 and Brockton set up for a tying touchdown. So Branch with a big mistake here on special teams as the carry for Rodriguez. He's very quickly taken down by a handful of Branch defenders. Second down. Second down and nine upcoming. So Farragher continuing to throw the football on the sidelines. So that might show you that he will be quarterback on the next drive. Right now, the defense is trying to do its job. Hold them to three. Box is trying to draw Braintree offside. Campbell running through the motions. Trying to fire out to the far side and up for grabs. That ball is going to be hauled in for the score. That one up for grabs, and it was pretty well defended on that far side of the field by Lau, but it was hauled in. So able to pull that football in. And a couple of nice plays here early in the football game for the visitors, as Brockton, with an extra point here, would tie the score. Dos Santos, the kicker, to try and tie this one up at seven. As Braintree is able to get in there and almost block it, but it goes through and ties the score at seven. Looked like they were going to get the hand on that football. Somebody jumping off the far side. Looked like they may have gotten a piece of that, but it finds its way through and ties the score at seven. Wow. In the high school soccer tournament at 1 o'clock, the Brainty Boys will travel to BC High for our first round tournament competition. And at 6 o'clock at Arlington High School, the Brainty Girls soccer team will travel to Arlington for a preliminary action. 
in these soccer tournaments. Well, the Lincoln Field Hockey team played yesterday the good Lincoln Sudbury team and lost two to nothing. Outstanding season for the Brantley Field Hockey squad. Congratulations to their coach and team on a quality year. So a 7-7 game, both sides now scoring. Brantley setting up with a short field. As Brantry touches this one, and now disaster starting right around the goal line. Able to carry this one out as Pina, as he finds his way out, and a decent return after it looked like Brantry was going to have to find the ball inside the five. Able to bring it back. 17-18 yard line. Your first down for the Wants. So Farragher back onto the field. As he will run the Braintree offense again. Tough drive for Farragher last time. After coming in emergency duty, the injury to Stones. Pick up of maybe a yard after the 19. Short gain on the first carry from Curry. He's second down. So the boxers find a tying score with the final play maybe here of the quarter, but an incomplete pass, so we'll see one more. Parsons Gomes, the intended target, and the pass was about a yard or, or two short. So eight seconds left on the clock, 7-7 seven, seven game here on a third down. It's a Braintree offense starting to become a little stagnant. Looks so explosive here to start the game. As Curry goes in motion and the pass is behind him. Pass is incomplete. And an incomplete pass is the signal. You wonder if that was a backwards pass. And it's for Curry. He fourth down. But it was He's ruled dead on the field by the, the officials. The and it brings up a fourth down. And Brent with back-to-back -back incompletions. As the clock again stopped before the end of this first quarter. Final play now as Branchy will punt it. Return man back around his own 40, but obviously it was a disaster last time on the special teams play. And again, the ball was mishandled and just able to get it away. Things are really not going Branch's way the last couple times they tried to punt the football. The As the ball down at the 48-yard line, and that is the end of the opening quarter. So Braintree, who scored on their opening drive, have not found much since, but Brockton is able to tie the score. They'll have the football when we return here in the second quarter. We'll take a break in the action, continue our live stream broadcast here of Braintree football against Brockton in a moment. 7-7 at the end of the first quarter. We also didn't mean to leave out our cheerleading and dance team last night. Competed at New Knot High School in the Bay State League Championship and came in first place. And they did an excellent job for a good crowd. Congratulations to the girls. Welcome back here to Braintree High School, start of the second quarter in a 7-7 game as the Boxers will get the football and the first play here of the second quarter. 
Looks like the ball spotted two yards different on the other side of the field. I thought it was supposed to be on the Braintree side, but nonetheless, the first play. And a handoff going up the middle. And a three-yard pickup three on the carry. The side of the field. Again, touching the football up the middle. He's taking down six. Looked like a different running back that time. The Difficult to see the right numbers right. from that spot in the field. Looked like that may have been Rhodes who got the football for Brockton. So bring up a second down and six. It's Brockton on the move again. And again, this is Rhodes. So he did get the carry the last time. He's got a head of steam ahead of him. And he's got a first down, bringing the ball inside the 35. So some explosive plays here for the Brockton offense. They've had three or four plays of 15-plus yards. And obviously I haven't seen... Much footage on Brockton here this season, but you can imagine those are the kind of plays they want to see. They want to see the explosive plays, try and stretch the defense. And they're finding some gaps right now between the tackles. And Branch has got to find an answer to slow down this offense. Branch, you got the football to begin the game, so Brockton will receive. The second half kickoff. Again, getting the football and Rhodes this time is stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. He's second down at 10. So Rodriguez coming back onto the field as Brockton has mixed in a handful of players at the tailback position here to begin the game. The Trying to give a little bit of a breather to. They're starting running back Rodriguez. Nine forty five to go. Clock moving here in quarter number two. Tied at seven. And it's Brockton with a chance here for the first lead of the game. Rodriguez gets the football, gets a big hole, and finds a lot of space down the far side as he's going to find his way close to the goal line, but steps out somewhere inside the 10-yard line. Actually going to spot him all the way back even further than I expected. Looks like he's knocked out of bounds around the 14. Rodriguez. So the explosive plays continue for the boxer offense. Under the direction of first-year coach Jermaine Wiggins. Brantry jumped offside. And so Brockton pulling a page out of the Brantry book. Offside against Brantry. So Brantry jumping offside, making it a first down and five. They could get a first down inside the four yard line. As Brockton looks for the lead. It'll be Rodriguez on the outside trying to test the waters that time and good coverage on the Braintree defense. Able to stop him right at the line of scrimmage as that was Marmai on the tackle on that far side. So it'll be a second down and four. Brockton looking for the go-ahead score with, again, Campbell running the offense. Haven't seen him have to throw the football on this drive. Running backs have done all the damage. And able to...
get the ball back and Campbell now going the wrong way as he's knocked backwards for a four or five yard loss as Braintree again able to get in there and again we see a little miscommunication between the center and the quarterback as he mishandled the snap and now Braintree brings up a third down and long. Seven yards to go for that first down. So it looked like this was going to be an easy score for Brockton, who had a first and five at the seven-yard line. And they have gone backwards since. But still another down, or if they decide to go for it on fourth, if they don't get it here. This is certainly a potential field goal opportunity from this spot on the field. As the timeout will be used, as Brockton wants to talk things over on a big third down upcoming on the Braintree side of the field. So we'll take a break in the action with 7.04 to go here in a 7-7 game. Brockton on the move, the Braintree defense trying to hold them. So coming back from the timeout, the Braintree defense looking for a stop as the Brockton offensive line really has opened up some big holes in the run game. So we'll see what type of play they come out of the timeout with, with Campbell again getting ready. Might have to throw it this time, and he will. Takes it up the middle, throws across his body, and the pass is incomplete. So it brings up a fourth down. We'll see if they send out the field goal unit. Dos Santos, who was the kicker on the extra points, looked like he had a decent leg. So probably makes sense to go for the field goal here in this spot. And they will trot out looking for three, it looks like. So with 6.59 to go, Dos Santos... Making his way onto the field. Andrew Dos Santos. And a flag is thrown. The kick is blocked, but the question is was Braintree offside? We'll find out. And there is a flag, which obviously. Does not necessarily bode well for Braintree based on the fact that we've already seen them jump offside once and they've now jumped offside twice. So there's a reason why they were able to get there and block that kick. But that also makes this a much different decision now. Brockton could elect to go for it here on fourth down since it's a five yard penalty. And I think they may try that. Kind of seemed a little bit hesitant to send the field goal unit out there in the first place, even though that would have made the most sense. And again, they did send it out there, but it took a little while to make that decision. And now the decision is to go for it here on fourth down with Dos Santos not on the field. Two for first down and maybe four or five for a touchdown. So the offense will get on the field and the ball up the middle, they may not have gotten it. They look like they're going to be short. And Braintree has them stopped. So a surprising play and some frustration on the Brockton side. They're not happy. As Campbell, I believe, was the ball carrier. And whatever the play call was there, it seemed a little bit sloppy. And Braintree catches a huge break. That should have been easily points on that drive. And Braintree catches a big break to see the score remain 7-7. So we'll see if the Brockton defense now can step up 
help out their offense who just made a costly mistake on a fourth down. And that does make sense based on the new way of the offense is running. They think about the statistics, and that's by the books. The higher IQ play, try and go for it, but from that spot on the field, the field goal try would have just been a chip shot from there. As Braintree stopped pretty quickly at the line of scrimmage and actually losing yardage as Garrity getting knocked down. So Braintree now very close to being stopped in the end zone for a safety. They're in really no man's land now. They're going to have to move the ball from pretty much their own end zone. Taking it up the middle and a nice carry this time. And is that Stones back out there? It looks like it is, as he got the medical clearance to get back on the field. Well, maybe not. Maybe I was just seeing things on that side of the field. So a third down upcoming. They're down and about seven. And Braintree stopped behind the line of scrimmage and very close to the goal line and oh, almost oh, another oh. safety. And it'll be fourth down to the one, twelve, so a fourth down, down upcoming from Braintree's own one yard line. And the offense really has gone dry after that opening drive. Can't move the football right now. They haven't really... Gotten the football to Curry, who's been their lead carrier. But right now they've got to find a way to pass the football because Broxton's going to try and key in on the run, knowing that Braintree has their backup quarterback in the football game right now. And Braintree's already had a couple of near miscues on punts. This time it's fielded well. A short kick has got to take a roll. And it's going to roll okay for Braintree back to the 39-yard oh, line where it'll be downed. So not a great punt, but from that spot on the field, that's a pretty reasonable punt for Braintree, who punted from their own end zone. Again, a handful of those yards on the roll, but the fact that the last two punts have been mishandled and almost fumbled, that was a much cleaner exchange which is a good sign moving forward in this game. But you're certainly hoping you don't see the punt unit. Braintree punt unit's been out there too often here in this first half. They've already punted the football three times. With 4.28 to go here in the first half, Brockton will again have the football on the Braintree side of the field. Rodriguez will take it up the middle as Marmai is slow to get up on the play. Ball inside the 35-yard line. So a gain of... Six yards on the first carry here of the drive. The Boxers coming in off of a victory in their last game against Durfee. 27-9 the final score. Scoring 14 points in the fourth quarter, the difference in the game for them. Rentry in similar fashion, blowing out the Newton North Tigers. So both teams coming off of a big-time win. Is this one mishandled? And the third time in the game, the quarterback has fumbled the football, able to pounce back on it was Campbell. But those are the negative plays that have really hurt Brockton here in this game. They've had a lot of flashy, good-looking plays down the field, but those plays there are drive killers. After they had a nice play on first down, this will bring up a third down and long. After... Close to an eight, nine yard loss on the play. Maybe even a little bit more. So a third down for the Brockton offense with three minutes to go here in the first half.
Crowd trying to get the Braintree defense into the game, and Brockton will utilize a timeout. So we will take a quick pause in the action, continue our live stream broadcast here of Braintree football against Brockton in a moment. 2.51 to go, 7-7 the score. Brockton on the move, but a third down upcoming. So here comes the Brockton offense back onto the field, getting instruction from the sideline. And we'll see what they can do here on a third down and 14. See if Braintree sends a little bit of pressure here. Looks like they want a blitz. Looking at the far side of the field, throwing it up for grabs. And that ball will be hauled in. Wow. Mm -hmm. Another big time reception. For a first down inside the 15 yard line or right on the So able to pull that one in was Ribeiro. Fine catch by Brockton. So that ball was just thrown up, trying to let the receiver make the play, and he came back to it. Brentry defense wasn't able to turn around quick enough and knock it away. That was a 50 50 ball. Certainly could have been picked off, but. Brockton gets the break they were looking for, and Braintree this time Locking stops him the right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a loss of a yard and as Tuckus in on the initial hit. So it's been a back and forth game. Neither side has looked all that impressive here early. Both sides have made some mistakes. And just the 7 7 score with two minutes to go. Clock continues to move. But Brockton, who's had the better opportunities, looking for the lead before halftime. Again, they do get the ball to start the third quarter as well, so this is a chance for them to go for a two-for-one situation. As Braintree's yeah. defense again, stopping them after a minimal gain. So another third down upcoming. Third down. That seems to be the story here of this first half for the Brockton offense. They've had to convert some tough third downs. And again, we've seen a couple of mishandles at quarterback on some third down, second down, and long yardage. Final minute 10. The receivers have made some nice catches, though, for the boxers. That's been the difference in this game, why the game is tied right now. Nice catch in the end zone for the tying score. There's some space here as Campbell wants to take it himself, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds. And right around the line, to, the line to gain, very, very close. Have not seen a signal yet if it's a first down or not. It's very close. It's either a first down or a fourth down. And they got a signal for a first down. They're not even going to measure. So it is a first down and goal. With 50 seconds to go here till halftime. Is Brockton for the third time here in the game. Inside the Braintree 10. As the handoff goes up the middle and getting halfway there. So getting to around the two yard line now is Brockton a chance here on the next play to take the lead and head into halftime with a touchdown advantage. Braintree's defense trying to hold them. But Brockton obviously trying to run some clock. As the handoff to Rodriguez hit right at the line of scrimmage. Stopped the line and of stopped scrimmage. at the one. And a timeout now going to be utilized. Brockton. So Brockton will call a timeout here with 14 seconds to go in the first half.
So a third down will be coming. Third down and goal from the three, maybe the two, depending on the spot of the football. So a third down, here we go. As Brockton looks for the lead here heading into halftime, Campbell getting the instruction, giving it out to his receivers. A four receiver set, and now Braintree's gonna use a timeout as they didn't like what they saw, and they wanted to see how Brockton lined up. So we'll take a pause in the action here as both sides playing a little chess match now late in the first half as we will pause, bring you back the final drive here of the first half in a moment. Back out of the timeout. Campbell the throw. Campbell under some pressure, fires, and the ball is going to be caught for the touchdown. Wow, what a catch right at the goal line. As that one was hauled in, looks like number four Wooten making the catch. I don't know how he was able to pick that one off the turf. Hard to believe from here that that ball was able to be caught before it hit the ground, but obviously the referee is much closer than we are here up in the press box. That was pretty incredible to see the receiver get his hands underneath that football and make the catch. It was not an easy catch for the receiver, but it was a perfectly thrown football as far as trying to keep the ball away from the Braintree defense's hands. And the extra point on the way, the kick barely makes its way in and makes it 14-7 here as it looks like that's the halftime score with just four seconds to go as the boxers will have to kick it away one more time. So a late score here in the end of the second quarter as Brockton takes the lead. Rancher trying to search for some answers here before... The start of the third quarter on offense, they really went dry after the opening score. Looked like Branch's offense was going to move the ball up and down the field, but obviously the injury to the quarterback made a big difference. So we'll see what Brockton tries to do here. Maybe they try some side of an onside kick, but with just four seconds to go, Probably the final play here of the first half. Branchy started off coming out of the gates. Guns a blazing, moving the ball down the field. Four different receivers involved and Curry the ultimate touchdown scorer. But that's it for the Braintree offense. Haven't had much, haven't had many first downs since that first drive. And the Brockton defense has played strong. Their offense has moved the football, but... The way this game has gone, Brockton probably should have a much bigger lead than they do, just a touchdown lead. It is a squib kick to be fielded by Braintree. Took a knee, and that's the end of the first half. So Braintree, nothing further here. Not trying any laterals at the end of the first half, and that's the way this first half closes. So two scores unanswered by the boxers to take the lead here after two quarters of play at Braintree High School here at Alumni Stadium, 14-7, the score in favor of the visitors. So we will pause, bring you back the start of the second half after a brief break here on BCAM TV.
Welcome back to Alumni Stadium, start of the second half. 14-7 the score in favor of the visitors from Brockton. Braintree again with the opening score from Curry, but after that, it was all Brockton. Offensively, Braintree's offense going to need to find a shot in the arm here, see if they can get some rejuvenation from halftime as the opening kickoff was missed handled for a moment and eventually brought back out to the 27 where the offense will start for Brockton already leading by a touchdown first down for the boxes all on the 26 yard line Early November game as the season nearing an end for both sides. Both sides looking at their annual Thanksgiving games. Brockton playing Bridgewater right on Braintree playing Milton and Milton or uh, Brockton jumping offside that time. That's a false start. Looks like the receiver here on the near side moved early. That was Ribeiro who had a big play earlier. So the false start will back them up five yards. Quick moving first half, a lot of running plays. Both sides throwing the football quite a bit. Obviously the big story of that first half, the injury to Stones, the branch of quarterback. So Farragher going to continue to be the branch of quarterback here in the second half. As the handoff will go. And Rodriguez running over a Braintree tackler. That was DeVito that got trampled over. But Braintree able to stop him. This tackle by Braintree makes it second and 11. For resting. So getting about four yards of the penalty yardage back. 26 yard line. That brings up a second down and 11. Drive right at the end of the first half. In the final 10 seconds, the go-ahead touchdown on the low, low pass to Wooten, who has the go-ahead score right now. Pick up a four more. Gets it out to the 33-yard line. Third down, a long kick. It'll be a third down and seven. As the Brockton offense trying to convert here on their first drive of the second half. 14-7 lead for the visitors. But a big play upcoming. Branch your defense looking for a stop. Trying to have something positive happen here to begin this third quarter. Bringing some pressure. Here's the throw down the field, and this time it's going to be left short and incomplete. Again, trying to feed the ball to Ribeiro, who's been their go-to receiver down the field. Had a great catch earlier. So with 10.03 to go, Braintree will get the football back, and we haven't seen many punts from the Brockton side. But Braintree with a quick three and out to force the punt. As this one just able to get it away, almost blocked. And a fair catch signaled by Garrity, and then he almost gets in the way of the football. So the ball will be down at the 38 yard line. And that's where the Braintree offense under the direction of Farragher will begin. We'll see if Brentry can get the ball back to Curry and start to get back to the basics because that's really how they started moving the football back in the first half early. Got to move the ball through your best offensive weapons. Tried to spread the ball around. That wasn't working. 
So getting the football this time is Curry, and he blasts forward for a gain of seven. Nice carry on the first play for Curry. Second down and three. Ball at the 45-yard line. And 25 to go here in the third quarter. Braintree down a touchdown, but with the football. As Curry gets it again and takes it ahead for the first down. Curry. Up over midfield. As he stopped at the 49 on the Brockton side of the field. So a couple consecutive carries for Curry, just like I thought Braintree might do, and try and get the ball back into his hands. He moves it ahead for a first down on his first two touches here of the second half. Back to Curry. Curry, another big-time run as he's got the ball out to the 40. So right now just feeding the Braintree running back who's trying to propel his team to another score. Certainly has the ability to do that. A four straight carry and another First down for Curry. Curry. It's been all Curry here on the drive as he's moved Braintree on to the Brockton side of the field and now at the 35. So no real surprise what Braintree wanted to establish here in this third quarter, which is the run game. Maybe also try and keep the ball away from the Brockton offense, who's been on the field a lot back in that first half. Brantry defense was gassed by the end of that first half on the field quite a bit as they could not really move the football after Stones was injured. And now it's Curry again as he just absolutely annihilates one of the Brockton defenders on his way to close to one of the first down carry. So Curry right now just playing the power running game. Just back to him, and he's got the first down. Good for the first down, Curry. So nothing has changed on every play here of this drive. It's been all Curry, and he's now got another first down, and after all that, he needs his way to the sideline. So Curry's going to get some water, and he's going to get a little breather, a much-deserved breather, as jumping onto the field is Garrity in the backfield. Garrity gets the football. Garrity finding his way through a little crease. And he's got another positive play. So Braintree with just close to five or six yards of carry now here to begin this third quarter. And with under seven to go now, Braintree will be inside the red zone. So inside the 20 now at the 18 is where the ball spotted. Man going in motion. Garrity gets the football. Garrity's got the first down and more as Garrity pushes towards the five. Still going. Garrity still moving to the goal line. Touchdown. What a run by Garrity. He got a lot of help from his friends at the end, but man, was that a nice run by Garrity. One of the smallest players on the field, and Garrity just found his way through the crowd. And kept those legs churning for the touchdown. And Braintree keeping the offense on the field. They're going to go for two here. Trying to take the lead. 14-13 the score. Back to him. And Garrity stopped. And he's not going to get it. So Braintree is stopped. The two-point conversion is no good. So Braintree will now find themselves down by a point. But... If anything, that was a certain positive sign for the offense to see how much Branchy was able to move the ball running. You also have to wonder why they didn't do that back in the first half, why they stopped running the football. I know they didn't have great field position on a couple of the drives, but you really got to go to your best players with the football, and that obviously is Curry in most cases. But without your top quarterback, you really got to be a little bit more creative, and that was what Branchy did. They established the run game. They moved the ball right down the field. Curry did all, pretty much all the work until Garrity scored the touchdown. And Branchy finds themselves down a point after the failed two-point conversion. 14-13, 6.40 to go. And another well-defended special teams play by the Braintree defense. So both sides have now scored twice. Braintree's lead is 
Our Braintree's deficit is one after the failed two-point try. Handoff up the middle, and Rodriguez has some real estate, and he's gone. Another big play from the Brockton offense as they find the way all the way down the field. A 70-yard touchdown run, and that was lightning in a bottle. Waiting to see if there's a flag on the field, and there's not. And Brockton, just like that, has the lead back to seven points, pending the extra point. Wonder if they'll try for two here, but they're going to send out the extra point unit. Braintree obviously now without their normal kicker here in this game. Going to have to probably go for two pretty much every play now. As Dos Santos has had a little bit of an adventure out there. He's had a field goal close to being blocked. Everything's been low off his foot, so we'll see if he can get a little bit higher this time. And the kick on the way, and the kick is no good again. Hasn't really kicked the ball square, and he hasn't gotten much leverage on the football. And it's resulted now in another field goal try that's no good. So both sides exchange a failed point after. Braintree obviously went for two, so they went for the two-point try. Brockton trying for just the conventional extra point. But neither side successful. And the score is 20 to 13, with 6:24 to go here in the third quarter. A lot of action already here in this third quarter. Both sides have scored a touchdown. Obviously, the big play came on the run from Rodriguez, who ran it 70 yards on the first play of that drive. He's been their top player here today, running the football. So the Boxers with the seven-point lead. Braintree's offense will get another crack at it after a nice drive last time. We'll see if they can do it again. It was all the run game last time. We'll see if they can go back to it. This one is caught at the 25, and nice job by the special teams for Brockton to take Braintree down pretty much right after the ball was caught. And the offense will start at the 25 for Braintree. Curry back out there alongside Farragher in the backfield. We got a first down for Braintree, ball being marked right at the 25-yard line. So on that opening drive where Braintree scored, they really involved everybody on offense. Parsons, Gomes, along with Canavan, Bresciani. As the handoff goes right back to Curry, and Curry finds a little bit of wiggle room for maybe a couple of yards. Ball carried by Curry, tackled by the middle of the defensive line. Brings up second and and a flag thrown in as Braintree stopped right at the line of scrimmage flag was thrown right at the snap So somebody must have jumped. Long discussion between the officials as they wait for the call. With 5.37 left here in the third quarter, the yellow down on the field. So 
is the longest time I've seen the refs not make a decision. They're just going to pick the flag up. I haven't seen a signal yet. They're going to call offside. Wow. On the defense. Offside against Brockton. So both sides now have been guilty of that. I think a couple times each. Two second down and three. And Brantry certainly likes that because it's going to make things more manageable now on the second down play upcoming. Low snap, Farragher able to hand it off to Curry. And they're going to call Farragher down with his knee down. Wow, that's a tough, tough call to go against Farragher, but that is just about like kneeing the football at the end of a game. So you don't even get the yardage from Curry because the ball was kneeled down. That's a disappointing play there for the Braintree offense. Now into the hands of Parsons Gomes, and he's swallowed up by two different defenders, including number 52 for the boxers. That is Baker. So that drive went awry after Braintree had a kind of tough play, you know, mentally there by the quarterback, Farragher, who obviously you want to field the football, which... He did the right thing, but he left his knee on the ground, and that's giving yourself up. And Braintree lost five yards on that play, and then we're in scramble mode on that third down play. So now on fourth down, they'll punt. Four minutes to go, Braintree down seven. 20 to 13, the score here in the third quarter. As Pina back out to send this one away, excuse me, Tran back out to send that one away. A much better punt, probably the best one Tran has sent away here in the game since taking over for Stones. So the ball will be down by Marmai at the 37, and that's where the Brockton offense will take over. And their last play from scrimmage was the 70-yard touchdown run by Walter Rodriguez. So Braintree obviously going to have to key in on Rodriguez, who's been their top offensive running back. Also saw the running back, number 34, Rhodes, mixed in. Haven't seen too many others. Wooten and Ribeiro have been the go-to receivers for them. And they both scored a touchdown. Rodriguez gets the football back and this time finds a little crease, but Braintree able to slow him down after the gain of four. A couple players in on the tackle, including Braintree's number 40, Anthony DeVito. Three and a half to go. Braintree down a touchdown. Really could use a stop. Obviously, both sides. A little disappointed by not making the playoffs. So both sides playing a non-league game. Two sides generally wouldn't find themselves matched up against each other. But both sides with very similar regular seasons. Right around the 500 mark. As this is Rodriguez again. And he's slowed down and somehow able to push forward. He's got close to first down yardage. Braintree had a hold of him, but they couldn't haul him down and slow to his feet at the end of the play, I believe, is Rodriguez. So a first down. 220 to go. Oh, at the 27-yard line of the Boxers. Ball just short of the midfield mark now. The ball at the 47 on the Brockton side of the field. Final two minutes here of the third quarter. Both sides with a touchdown apiece. Getting the football and taking it over midfield is Rodriguez. Rodriguez picked up a six, maybe seven yards to the Branchy side of the field. So just like Branchy was doing earlier, 
feeding Curry right now, Brockton feeding their running back, Rodriguez. It's been a lot of run game by both teams here in this game, although both sides have spread the football around when they needed to. But the way this game has gone, it seems like both sides would rather just run the football, try and pick up yardage that way. And a nice tackle in the backfield. Looks like Tuckus able to stop him back behind the line of scrimmage. Number 65. So Tuckus able to slow him down. And yeah, one of the best defensive plays Braintree's had here in the ballgame. Need the football back. Down a score. Final 45 seconds. As Brockton, again, getting some key plays from some of their best players in this game. The difference of this game, the 70-yard touchdown run from Rodriguez. As the handoff goes back to Rodriguez, makes a couple of Braintree defenders miss, but he is slowed down on the Braintree side of the field at the 47-yard line. So we'll see. This is a no-man's land type of situation. A lot of coaches like to go for it here on this side of the field. And right now, Brockton trusting their offense more than they are their special teams at this point. They're going to try and pick it up the hard way. And we will not see another play because that's going to be the end of the third quarter. So Brockton will have some time. Head coach Wiggins will have an opportunity to talk things over at the end of the third quarter. And they will make a decision as we head for a break here on BCAM TV, our live stream broadcast of Braintree football against Brockton. Heads to the fourth quarter, 20 to 13, the lead for Brockton. They have the football and a big play, a fourth down upcoming. Back here to start the fourth quarter. Mike Walsh bringing the coverage here on BCAM TV. As Brockton trying to draw Braintree offside. That wasn't going to work. And it looks like they're going to run a play here. Trying to pick up the first down. And the snap. Campbell the throw. Campbell almost had that one picked off. And the ball falls incomplete. Trying to get the ball to Wooten who couldn't make the catch. And Marmai got a hand on that football. So Braintree will take over just short of midfield. Chance for the tying score here on the drive. Head coach Lee Carlson for the Womps trying to do something here for his offense and get them down the field to tie this one up. Here's Curry. Curry's got some room. He's up over midfield, up to the 40, and inside the 40, down to the 37. So a first down pickup on the first play for Curry. So Branchy with a quarter to go, down by seven. They're on the move, now on to the Brockton side of the field. Garrity in motion, the handoff back to Curry. Curry again, pushing up over the 35, down close to the 30. And Braintree again has gotten some good push from their linemen to help, help keep the pile moving. That was exactly what happened on that run there from Braintree earlier by Garrity that pushed him ahead for a touchdown. So Garrity and Rodriguez, the two touchdowns here in the second half. 
It was a touchdown score at halftime. It's still a touchdown score here in the fourth quarter. As Garrity gets the ball out in space, he's got a first down. Garrity really has been a key component here on offense, here in the second half specifically. 23-24 And it looks like a timeout's going to be utilized. So Brockton going to take a timeout here as they've seen Braintree start to move the football down, looking for the tying score. With 10.38 left on the clock, 20-13 to 13 the score, Braintree down 7, but again on the move down the field. Braintree, a team that had a very good start to the season, winning their first couple of games over Hingham and North Quincy, 20-16, 30-7, before dropping one on the road at Framingham, 22-12. Back in the win column at home against Quincy, 44-16. to But then they went on a long losing streak of three games against Weymouth, 28-14. 42-21 to Needham. And 37-3. Back in the win column in their last game against Newton North. And Braintree at 4-4 four four on the season. Now heading into today's game against Brockton where they find themselves down by 7. Farragher waiting for the play call, and he hands it off to Garrity, and he's really made some good things happen when he's touched the football here in this game. On the Brockton side of the field, they lost their opening game against Barnstable 49-14, lost to Franklin 21-13, lost to Lincoln Sudbury 29-21, got their first win over Lawrence 14-7 as Braintree with another running play and they'll bring up a third down and two Andover beat Brockton 50 to 20 and the last two games have gone in Brockton's favor 12 to 6 over New Bedford and 27 to 9 over Durfee another low snap and this is Curry who gets the football and he's got a first down so Curry moves the pile ahead and moves Braintree into the red zone moves Braintree into Scoring position. That was close again to Farragher putting his knee down, just like he did earlier. And this is Parsons Gomes in the backfield to hand this one, or actually carry this one. And I think that's what he did earlier from the goal line. I had. Looks to be on the five yard line little miscommunication from up here. I had thought I had seen Stones back on the field, but that was number five, Parsons Gomes, who had run the football back in the second quarter. And now has done it again. He's in the backfield. Parsons Gomes going to run a similar play as he forces it inside the five, down inside the four, maybe down to the three. Third down, ball close to the three-yard line. Have not seen Parsons Gomes throw the football yet since he's been in the backfield every single time he's run it but now Branch is going to need Farragher to potentially throw it but this is four down territory Branch without their field goal kicker wouldn't be surprised if they ran it here and then run again on fourth down trying to draw Brockton off sides on that hard snap And the handoff goes to Curry, and Curry is hit immediately. Actually loses yardage, and now it'll bring up a fourth down. Fourth and goal from the six. So the Braintree offense, who has moved the ball all the way down the field, right now need a touchdown to tie the score up. Eight minutes to go. Braintree looks like they might have to throw it. They want to score. Brockton looks like they're going to bring some pressure. Farragher will throw. Up to Canavan. Canavan! Did he haul it in? No. He had it knocked away at the last second. He had it for a moment. I thought he had his hands up there to catch it. 
And it was knocked out of his hands, and the Brockton defense comes away with the stand on fourth down. That's a huge play for Brockton. It keeps their lead intact and looked like Braintree was going to get it to their tallest receiver, Canavan. Nice little design play, little fade on the near sideline, but Canavan could not complete the act. And Braintree with the turnover on downs. So a good drive ends with no points, unfortunately. Score remains 20 to 13. So Brockton trying to move the ball now from their own side of the field inside their own five. As the handoff will be to Rodriguez, who is very nicely taken down by a couple of Braintree defenders. Just a pickup of maybe two yards. Aren't you crowd trying to get their team into this game and try and get the football back? Second down and eight. Back to the run game and Rodriguez as he again is able to find a little bit of yardage but stops short of the first down marker by a couple yards. So it brings up an important third down. The Braintree defense looking to hold them with just 6.50 to go. Braintree down by seven. Trying to get that football back. They'll have good field position if they can stop them here. Both sides have had to try and bring the ball from their own side of the field, deep on their own side of the territory. And again, back to Rodriguez. He is able to find a crease, and he's got the first down. So, killing some clock in the process, moving the chains. It's going to be tough to stop Rodriguez three straight runs. He's a shifty running back. Very tough to stop. So six minutes to go, clock continues to move as Brockton in no hurry with the football and a seven-point lead. Defense needs to come up with a stop as Rhodes finds his way through the middle of the field. And he continues to be tough to find in that pile. So second down and approximately five. It's been all running plays here for Brockton on this possession. Obviously a good idea here with the clock on their side. Trying to kill some time and potentially score another touchdown. If they do find another touchdown, it's probably end of this ball game. It's still a long way to go in this though. Five minutes left. As the running play again, and another first down. Able to get it by a yard. And again, going through the middle of the offense is the tailback, Rhodes. Casey Rhodes. Just a sophomore. At some point, the Braintree defense has got to stack the box against this run game. Brockton has shown that they can throw it, so I'm not claiming that they can't, but obviously right now, Brockton just wants to pound the football, and Braintree needs to find the football back in their hands. There's only 4.20 to go. And Braintree this time jumps ahead of the gun this time and able to stop him in the backfield. So that's what you need to do. You need to pull him down behind the line of scrimmage. And this time able to do so. A couple of players in on the tackle, but most notably for Braintree was Pressman. 
able to wrap them up. So a loss of one on the play, second down and 11. Branchy looks like they want to bring some more pressure. And again, they swarm them in the backfield. They want a horse collar. They're not going to get it. And Braintree's going to utilize a timeout. And they have them in the spot they want, third down and long. So with 3.20 to go in this ball game, Braintree with the opportunity here to stop them and get the football back. And the way this game has gone, if Braintree does get the football back, you would imagine they're going for the win. They're not going to try and score and then kick the extra point. Braintree's going to go for the win if they can get the football back. We've seen some interesting play calls in this game. But here on a third down and 13, can't imagine it's not a passing play. Although, if they do run it, it would keep the clock moving. Unless Branchy utilize the timeout. Three twenty to go. Back out of the timeout. A four receiver set. Just one running back in the backfield. It's Rodriguez. It's a screen play and it's picked off. And Braintree rumbles it towards the goal line. Still going. And the interception brings it to the one. As they try the screen play, and that did not work. As that was picked off by the big man Pendergast. He picked that one off and rumbles down to the one. So Brockton with a big miscue at the most inopportune time of the ball game. That was never going to work. You could see the screen coming from up here, and that was thrown into a ton of traffic, and Braintree's lineman able to pick that one off. With 3.09 to go, Braintree set up to try and tie the score. Here's Curry. Curry ahead. He's in. Touchdown. Curry's second touchdown of the game, and Brockton with a huge mistake here in the ball game, allowing Braintree to make it 20 to 19. And now decision time: Do you go for the extra point to tie it, or do you go for the lead? See Tran out there, who was the kicker earlier. Garrity is the holder, so it looks like they're going to try for the one. A little surprised that Branch is not trying to go for two here. Branch is running out of time here. And they do hike it. And a little flip play inside. And they in for two. Yes! As Braintree with the little trickery, they get the touchdown and the two-point conversion and take the lead. 21-20 with 3.04 to go. So maybe that was a little bit of a snap to try and draw him off. And a little shuffle play inside. And that was De Silva who took the football in front of the goal line for the go-ahead two-point conversion. So De Silva puts Braintree in front. But the big play and the biggest play of this game coming by the lineman Pendergast with the interception. And I don't think he could have seen that one coming any time this season. But Pendergast right now getting plenty of high fives along the Braintree bench as his play right now the difference to give Braintree the one-point lead, 21-20. In a game that has featured mistakes by both teams, none bigger than the interception. 
Bringing this one back, and Braintree stops him outside of the 30. So a short return by Rhodes, and the Brockton offense will get another crack at it down by a point. Only needing a field goal, but right now, both sides without the confidence of a kicking game. So it's going to probably come down to a touchdown. Brockton's going to win this game. This has been a fun one here today. Unfortunately, neither side was able to make it into the postseason, but this has turned into a pretty good matchup to evenly match teams. And right now, Brockton has a chance to take the lead with the score here on this drive with 2.52 left. Clock will move. First down play, under duress, Campbell under some pressure, Braintree has him stopped, and he's going to be taken down. Got him behind the line of scrimmage for a big loss, and a five-yard sack. So a second down and 16, maybe... 15 yards for Brockton, who looked like they had a chance to put this one away here in this third quarter, back in the third quarter. Obviously, it's now with just two minutes to go here in the fourth, but they had a chance after that run by Rodriguez. I thought that was going to be a big momentum-shifting play, but it was not the story. As the passing play thrown outside and incomplete to Wooten, who was the intended target on the far side, as Braintree with an opportunity, really, to pull off a big upset without their starting quarterback after Stones was hurt back in the first quarter. So now, Brockton put in a little bit of an unfamiliar territory here in this game. They've had to throw the football, now trailing with just a minute and 52 left. They certainly can throw the football. They've shown that here in this game, but... Their bread and butter here today has been the run game, especially Rodriguez. The Braintree defense looking for one more stand to win this game. Back to throw. It's Campbell. Campbell here to the near sideline, thrown short. It is caught. Wow, Ribeiro able to haul that one in. They've had a couple of really nifty catches right along the sideline and on low passes too. They've gotten their hands underneath the football, which is... Very technical to, to do that at this level. Pretty uncommon to see high school players get the hands underneath the football and maintain possession to complete the catch. The clock is still moving, though, so Brockton has to move. Surprise. It is a fourth down play, too. This is the ball game. Minute and ten to go. Back to pass, Campbell. Campbell under pressure. Braintree has him swallowed up. Campbell is taken down and sacked in the backfield. Two sacks on the drive. The Braintree defense makes the plays when they need it. Pendergast's interception giving Braintree the go-ahead score and then two sacks here on the drive and an injury on the field with just a minute and two to go. In a game that was Brockton's for the taking here in the second half. With a minute and two to go, an injury down on the field. Let's pause for a moment.
So what an ending to this ball game. Two pivotal plays here in the second half. All made by Braintree. That interception. And Braintree, for whatever reason, deciding to run the football instead of kneel it down. Brockton still has timeouts left, apparently. But the last thing you want to do is lose the football. I don't even think you want to hand it off at this point. I know you kill maybe an extra two seconds, but at that point, what's the difference? But the big play, everybody knows... Made by Joe Pendergast, the interception that set Braintree up at the one-yard line to go ahead on the touchdown run by Curry and the ensuing two-point conversion by De Silva. And then on the next drive, Brockton down one. Sacked twice was Campbell after he had to throw the football down the field. He didn't get as much time as he wanted. Braintree brought some heat. And got to the quarterback twice on the drive, including a sack on a fourth down play. And now, with just 57 seconds left. So what an exciting ending here for Braintree in a game that did not look like they were going to win after Stones went down. They just could not move the ball. But then all of a sudden, the third quarter came. And they move the ball right down the field. Trying to draw them off sides. Couple times Farragut trying to draw them off sides. Branchy might try and take a penalty here. Although the clock isn't moving, so that's not really going to help them. And Branchy now takes a delay of game. Unless they call the timeout. Did not see if Branchy got a timeout off or not. So final 57 seconds as Braintree does hand it off. It's Curry! Curry's gone! See you later! Ball game! His third of the game, and Braintree just blasted down the middle of the field, and Curry, nonetheless, with another three-touchdown game. So Brockton was playing with fire, and they finally got burned that time. And Braintree with a big-time play as they go for the extra point this time. They tried a little trickery last time. We'll see if they go for two. It is still just 27-20, though, with 49 seconds left. So there's still time on the clock. And a flag before the extra point. And that's going to be on Braintree for a false start. And that might make their decision a little different here. Maybe not. It's a much longer kick. Five more yards back for Tran, who has yet to convert a extra point here in this game because Stones, who's their normal kicker, got hurt earlier, hasn't really gotten the opportunity. Nice snap, a good hold, the kick on the way, and the kick is good. So Tran delivers. That is a big point. It puts Braintree up by eight. And with the shakiness of the kicking game for Brockton as well, that is a big extra point. Might not seem that way, but if Brockton was to score, they need a two-point conversion now to tie it with 49 seconds left. So Curry with three touchdowns in this game, but none bigger than that run he just had. 
28-20 with 49 seconds left in this ball game. So the offense for Brockton will start at the 40-yard line. So back on to the field as Brockton looking for the tying score. Looks like they may have made a change of quarterback as Braintree again brings some heat and a completion is made. So it looks like they've brought in Semedo at quarterback, which is a pretty crazy change this late in the game with just 35 seconds left. Down by eight points. Brockton trying to pull couple of cards out of the bag of tricks. Braintree has played their hands a couple times, and it's worked. Now Brockton trying for a magical finish, but they still need a two-point conversion if they score to tie this one up. This one has had the thrill for the dramatic from the start. Both sides without key players. Montero has not played here today for Brockton, and Stones, obviously, for Braintree, got hurt back in the first quarter. Back to throw, Semedo, dangerous throw over the middle of the field, and is it picked off? It is! Interception by Braintree will end the ball game. Another dangerous throw up for grabs, and this time, Braintree comes away with the turnover and the game-clinching play. Now just one more kneel down and the ball game has ended as Brockton trying for a dramatic finish at the end, but Braintree comes up with all the key plays defensively here in the second half. Defense certainly won the game for Braintree here in this game. You can certainly say that without a doubt. That ball was intercepted by Sam Garrity. So Braintree kneels the football down, and the game will end as Braintree with a huge win today at home. Even though it's not a playoff win, it feels like it for the Womps, who win this game 28-20 to and beat head coach Jermaine Wiggins, former Patriot, and the Brockton Boxers here today at home 28 to 20 again curry the difference in this ball game with three touchdowns capped off by a 35 yard run up the middle of the field but again the big plays came on defense two interceptions in the fourth quarter the interception by Pendergast ultimately turned into the go ahead and winning score by curry who rushed it in from one yard out and then the two point try put Braintree ahead for good to stay as Braintree wins 28 to 20 a Great game here today as Braintree with a victory moves over 500 with the win. And I believe they will play another game next week before their annual football game on Thanksgiving against Milton. So that'll conclude our coverage. Thank you for watching our live stream broadcast here today. An exciting game on BCAM TV. On behalf of our camera person here today, John Rafanos, I'm Mike Wassel. We'll see you next time.